want to bring in John Carl to lay out where Hillary stands as she's ready to launch. And John, almost by any measure, she comes into this race as the most dominant non-incumbent ever to run. Oh, no question about that, George. But there's a new Bloomberg poll out this weekend that shows that nearly three quarters of Democrats and independents say it would be a good thing if she faced a serious challenger for the Democratic nomination. But there is just zero indication that is going to happen. She is the biggest non-incumbent frontrunner we have ever seen. Take a look at these numbers. 66% of Democrats favor Clinton. The only other two that show up more than a blip are Joe Biden, who has made no step towards running, and Elizabeth Warren, who says definitively she is not going to run. But on a personal level, she, she, her personal numbers have taken a hit since she left that apolitical purchase Secretary of State. Uh, her popularity has taken a beating since then. If you look back then, when she left office as Secretary of State, 67% favorability. Now that is below 50%. The biggest factor driving her popularity down is the issue of honesty and trustworthiness. Right now, about as many people say she is not honest as those who say she is. Clearly, Benghazi and that email scandal have taken a toll. It is also so tough, John, for any, any party to hold a White House for a third term. And I actually talked to President Obama about that back in November. Let's listen to this. I think the American people, you know, they're going to want uh, you know, that new car smell. <laughs> you know, they want to they, they drive something off the lot that, uh, that it doesn't have as, uh, as much mileage as me. So what's your sense of how she's going to manage that dance between where, when she separates from President Obama, when she hugs him? Well, she's joked with friends that she has to distance herself from two presidents, both her husband in some sense and also President Obama. She can't run for a third term. But I am told that she has sent a direct message to her senior staff that there is nothing to gain by trying to create distance or to criticize Barack Obama. Uh, she will not be doing that, certainly not in the early phase. Remember, President Obama is about as popular as he has ever been among Democrats. And that's who she needs right now. And